In this video, we're going to talk about the strategic pivot. This is about using some aspect of your business to start to shape or shift how you operate, uh, what your strategy really is. Now, I believe if you go to the business model canvas uh, video, it becomes a tool to help you find those pivot points. So pivots fundamentally happen around a fulcrum. And, and so what that means is that we have to find the right place to pivot around. So there's about four different types of pivots and some of them are, are, aren't applicable in all situations. But the first, just because I do a lot of work with entrepreneurs as well as student entrepreneurs, is really the, the startup abandon and change. Right? The idea is that for most startups, you should uh, test, test, test very early in your creation process. And what that means is you start building some ideas around some assumptions, you start testing those assumptions, and then you find out those assumptions are just not valid. What customers really have problems about, what they really want to pay for, how, what, whether you can really deliver value to close that, or whether the problem's already solved. And so I see too many entrepreneurs get hooked on an early idea and pursue it with full abandonment of, of reason. And so the, the pivot that we're talking about is really to pull back, completely abandon the premise of what you did and start to change to something else. There must be something in what you learned in testing those assumptions that you can leverage in a different way. So in this case, you're pivoting around your learning um, and what you learn in your early, early days. The next is really reshaping a business. This also happens in many cases early on, but we've seen some very old businesses do this as well. Reshaping a business is generally done when an assumption about the business has changed. This could be an assumption about what works and enables it that is no longer true, or something new that has become true that provides an opportunity. Netflix is a great example of this. They pivoted around the idea of delivering consumer-driven demand video. But their entire process of shipping DVDs pivoted around the opportunity that technology provided as well as the coming abandonment of other technologies to go to an entirely streaming service. And so this was a massive pivot for a business that in many cases, as Blockbuster could prove, they could have done the same thing. But fundamentally, they didn't test those assumptions and pivot when they needed to, to uh, address those changing assumptions. The third kind is usually around a larger company, but happens as well in earlier, and that is how to expand around some aspect that you have. You might own a customer base that you can then sell more into, or own a channel that you can sell more through, or have a value proposition that you can leverage in another way, or a key capability that you can apply in a different pursuit. The point is, is to, to find some way to expand one of those areas uh, where you're already doing what you're doing. You're not doing anything differently, but you're just doing it in a broader basis. Pepsi, Coke, Nestle are great examples of this because they know how to manufacture beverages, they know how to distribute beverages, they know how to sell and market beverages. And so whenever a new segment comes up, they're very quick, whether they buy and integrate or create their own brands, they can expand the value proposition within their current business model. And so expand is another form of pivoting. And then the fourth that I want to talk about is extracting more from a strength. How do you leverage some aspect in your business model canvas to do something different with? So Amazon's a great example of this, and they continue to be in many different cases, but they fundamentally felt that they had to build outstanding server uh, delivery to enable their own business. But in the pursuit of that being a key activity, it also became a value proposition for new markets. And so Amazon Web Services was born as a way to take a strength for their core business on a key activity, key asset, and then finally shift that into a value proposition for an entirely new segment. And so when you leverage, you're pivoting around something that's a strength on your business model canvas, 
and building a new or additional business on that strength. Now, there might be many more forms of pivoting, but having the flexibility, both mentally and organizationally, to do that pivot depends on more than the business model canvas and far more than just the decision to pivot. It comes down to your ability to learn, adjust, build new standards, and essentially organize the culture, processes, and capabilities of your organization to take advantage of that pivot. Pivoting is a fundamental skill for companies that want to stay alive. There's no question that what your business model was 40 years ago is not what it can be 40 years from now. It's just a matter of what time horizon you need to pivot around. Sometimes it's almost every year, sometimes it's once a decade, but you know for sure it's coming. So have this ability to be flexible enough to see the pivot and then execute around once you decide how to pivot. This is key to sustainable businesses on a strategic level.